We have the Olympian, Marco Madsen. He got a very gritty unanimous decision win against uh, Vince from Hell Pichel. But we do have to say that Pichel, man, even though he's a very... Uh, I feel like he's more or less of a humble guy, right? You know what I mean? In the cage and outside of the cage. He had some words in the cage and outside of the cage for Marco Madsen. He called Marco Madsen a pussy on multiple occasions, inside the cage and outside the cage. And come that third round, I do have to say he did something that was a little uncharacteristic. And he was just like, this dude's just fucking holding me, bro. Like he couldn't get up. And then what was Joe Rogan saying? What were all the commentary team saying? You should never stand up these fighters because if they can hold you down, well, isn't that part of the game? You know what I mean? That's like somebody being like, hey, bro, I can't get you to the ground. Why you keep running around, man? Just go on the ground so we can sit here and fight there. It's like, no. How about you take me down, right? It's the same exact uh, concept. And Marco Madsen, at the end of the day, his striking looked very much improved, very similar to a Mackenzie Dern, man, because that was my big worry. I thought Pichel was light years ahead in terms of the striking. But when you have bread and butter, when you're a multiple-time Olympic medalist, when you're a world champion in wrestling, guess what's one thing that's always in your back pocket that you can rely on instinctually? wrestling brother and even though he's a, Gre a greco-roman guy um he had a, a nice shot i think in that third round man was able to keep the fight on the ground for uh, on top of Vince show what do you make of the performance man how far can marco madsen go in this lightweight division the man is closer to 40 than we would all like but what do you think closer to 40 than we would like and the hands lead a little bit to be desired because he's just he uh, the, the pressure's there the greco-roman's there the ground game it's always there my big thing 30 27 30 27 really by two i think two two judges scored a 30 27 for me i had this one all being won on who won the first fight or first round excuse me i had pichelle winning i think it was the second marco madsen winning the third because of all the ground control and and even to that point what's the difference how come aljo gets a 10 8 with all that ground control but but madsen doesn't even though he's just holding on because i agree i think he was just holding on nothing not really doing anything holding pichelle down sure yeah you know is is that fair game yes does it deserve a 10 8 no does he get the the winning the round by 100 percent? yeah hey, he was controlling you okay you can get up that's your own fault um but i don't see any difference between what was going on with madsen as well as what was going on with sterling maybe with just a little bit more advantageous of position uh, depends on which way you think, because Mark Madsen had the top, Sterling had the back. I don't know, man. That, to me, is just a little shaky of decision making or shaky of judging. Excuse me. Where I mean, Madsen, he got taken down for the first time, and to me, and to me, if you take down an Olympian, that's kind of scores a little bit more points right there, man. And 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 Pichel even went for a couple more takedowns mm -hmm. after that, like to prove a point. Like, oh, it wasn't just a fluke. I'm yeah. getting you down again. Probably to his detriment, <laughs> probably to you know him being able to get grabbed and then put down himself. But at the same point, I don't know, man. Did, did you see a 30-27, Derek? Absolutely not. Not even remotely close. Because Vince Pichel, he was uh, kind of, how would you say this? How was the right words to say? He was instilling his will. He was basically saying, like, I'm going to dictate where this fight is going. Oh, you're the wrestler? No, I'm the wrestler, buddy. You know what I'm saying? So when you do that to somebody, not only is that an ego hit, not only is that a, a moral victory, but that you went around. You went around by doing that. And I agree with you, man. He played the game with Ma Marco Madsen too much to his detriment because uh, this is similar to Jan. Jan decided he wanted to start trying to take down uh, Sterling and then grapple with him. Next thing you know, he's on his back. And it's like, well, you shouldn't have played the game. Get out. Strike. Do your thing. Either way, man. Um, aside from a, Kev a Kevin Holland-ish moral victory when Kevin Holland took down Derek Brunson, there's not much to say, man. Marco Madsen, he got the win. I thought I saw it 29-28, and when you go to MMA decisions, man, you have about 15 other media scores that scored 29-28 in favor of Madsen. Not a single one for Pichel. I'd have to agree with that, even though it was close. But either way, man, uh, the Olympian, man, you got to be able to stop the wrestling. So if you can't stop the wrestling... Good luck. You can cry all you want, but it is part of your job to get up. This was a big win by Marco Madsen. And believe it or not, this was Vince Pichel's only his third career loss. This dude's been in the UFC for like 10 years, bro. So big fight on both sides. Main card was a banger. Um, you know, this was, like I said, it delivered, but it didn't deliver in its own weird way, man. But at the end of the day, I don't have much to say on this other than Marco Madsen got a big nod, man. So shout out to him. Shout out to the win.